Welcome to another edition of ProSoft Training. Here we're going to be going over the ProLinks and it's going to be the Profibus Slave configuration. So first we're going to go to the default location, right click, add module. From here we're going to right click on the new module, choose module type. On the top is our filter box, so we're going to filter by PLX 5000 and go down to our 5205 DFNT PDPS, which is the one I'm using. And here it is right here. And we'll click OK. Now we expand this and that'll show us the uh, PDPS. Expand that and right click here. And now we can go ahead and configure the Profibus slave. There's only a couple options. The first one's the slave address, which we're going to be slave one. Um, swap input bytes and swap output bytes. Um, that's going to be swapping data. Um, stop transfer on communications fail and a com timeout. And we'll just click OK. And we're going to go ahead and download to the module now. Uh, right click on the module, download from PC to device, and choosing COM1 and go ahead and download. Now in the Step 7 software, we're going to go ahead and create a new project by clicking on the New Project Wizard. We'll click Next and choose our module type. We have a 315 with a Profibus DP. Here it is. And we'll go ahead and click Next and Finish. This will now build our project. Now we can come to the main hardware and go ahead and open Object. Now here is where we're going to add in the GSD files. So we'll go Options, Install GSD File, and we're going to browse. Um, I stored my GSD files just right on the desktop. So that's what we're going to select, and we're going to grab both these and install them. Click Yes, and now we'll go Station, Save and Compile. This will save my changes, we'll, and we'll go back to the actual Step 7 program, and this is where we're going to go into the configure of the network. So we'll first have to click on the uh, DP module and go over to the catalog where our GSD file is at, which is going to be under Gateway, and it's going to be the ProLinks Profibus slave. So we'll go over and drag over to the Profibus master, it's going to ask us if we haven't configured a master, we need to. So we'll go ahead and configure the master, slave address 1, and this is where we can change our COM settings to, um, we're going to be using 1.5, and our profile is going to be Profibus DP. And we'll go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to edit our ProLinks. This is where we're going to be adding the modules for that ProLinks. So we'll right click on the first available slot, insert object, and that'll open up a dialog box. We'll select ProLinks Profibus Slave, and we're going to go ahead and grab 16 words of input. And we're also going to do the same for the slot 2. We're going to go ahead and insert an object, but this one's going to be 16 words of output data. So it'll bring up that same dialog box, and we'll just drill all the way down to 16 words of output data. And once we've done this, we can just go ahead and close this, and it'll ask us to save changes. Select yes. That'll go ahead and take care of all that. And we can go ahead and go to network and save and compile. Compile and check everything. This will check for any errors that we have on our Profibus network. Here we have no errors. Go ahead and close that. And we can close that now too. Now it brings us to the main page. We'll select the main processor and select download. And this will download our configuration to the step seven. Now we're going to show you how the data maps in. So we're going to right click on the module, select diagnostics, type question mark to get the menu. We'll type D for database view and we're going to type N for next and N for next to get to address 200 which is where the Profibus inputs coming from the master. 
Here is a map of how the data is mapped in our ProLynx memory. Zero is going out to the Profibus master and 200 is coming back in with 121 words of data each way. Now here we're going to go over to the step 7 where I've already created a function block to write 4 bytes of data um, starting at 256. So here we're going to modify this value. We're going to type, uh, we'll just type 1's. On this next one we'll just type some 2's, 3, and 4. Um, because I don't have logic pushing these values out to the Profibus side, we're going to have to manually force them. So here we're forcing all these values to go to the ProLinks. And that's the last one. And now we'll go back over to the diagnostics and type S to refresh the memory. And there you are, you have all the data. And this concludes our training video for the uh, PDPS on the ProLinks gateways.